everyone, it's Miss Frodo and Domo, and we are here with our very first bark box. And we, have, we have Eowyn right here, she is hot, so we are going to try to make this short. Um, this is a cute little bark box for some reason. I always thought they were bigger, but maybe this month's is smaller. I don't know. So it came pretty fast because I ordered it what Friday or something. <coughs> and <coughs> yes, honey, and today's Monday. Eowyn, what's this? What is it? Oh, it's got little ant picnic paper. That's adorable. Oh my goodness. And this is the medium size box. Because she is medium sized. It is the country fair themed box. Sorry, you might not be able to see it with the lighting. Um, this, uh, yeah, it just says stuff. And, oh, and there's the little word search on the back. That's cute. That's fun. As you can okay. see, it's a beautiful day out here, and we had to be outside. So, and in Maine, you don't get there very often. So That's this true. is, it's a little fish in a ball. Uh, huh. Gus the State Fair goldfish. Oh. I don't think this is going to show up with the lighting, but it could just be that I can't see because it's a light out. Made with Ruv by Barkin Company. Are so it's Ruv or Ruv? Ruv. Oh. R-U-V, Ruv. So, so it's a, oh, it squeaks too. Oh, that got her attention. That got your attention, huh, baby? Let's see. We're gonna take it out of the uh, fish net. Yeah, Domo's yeah, gonna help. Go. Well, he's doing that. I'm gonna show you this Orby tuff. We don't have any Orby stuff yet. We have a billion toys, but we don't have any Orby. So it's got the hole for you to put the little treats in. Hey, what do you think? Big old strawberry. Oh, it bounces too. That looks like fun. This I is like by that. Planet Dog. I think Planet Dog is actually. Um, I think the place where we live is actually where it's manufactured, so that's pretty cool. Oh. I'm not 100% sure on that, don't quote me, but, so you get the Orby Tough strawberry, so those are the two toys you get. A1 is not interested at all. Yeah, there's, a, more shade. there's a siren coming by. <laughs> Premium 7 inch chew. Oh no, it's a rabbit chew. Oh, I, I have a ban on rabbit products just because I have the rabbits, but I guess if it comes from BarkBox, she's allowed to eat it. You want to go inside, babe? I think she's hot. We'll finish this up real quick, and we'll try to get another shot later of her playing with it. This is a really cute container. Berry and Bacon Biscuits by Healthy Dogma. Hmm, that sounds good. Super cute little container. And then we have Shrimp and Grits. Soft Chews Dog Treats. Oh good, shrimp are really smelly, and we need soft chews for training. It says BarkBox approved. Made and sourced in the U.S. Looks like it's by this company called Grand Paws. And it's got, oh, feeding suggestions for stuff. Well, you know what? She gets a billion little tiny, tiny treats. We That's very true. We just cut everything up really, really tiny to get to her. Yeah, looking at the ingredients, it looks pretty good. All right, so we're going to let her get inside and cool off a little bit and get some water, and we'll see if she'll play with some of this stuff. All right. All right, well, we're inside now. Huh. Now, this thing, the, the strawberry, what's the thing called again? It's an Orby... Uh... Oh yeah, it does say minty and bouncy. It's Orby Tough. It's um, it doesn't say like specifically what it is. We just noticed it because we orby. smelled it. It almost has like a menthol smell to it. Yeah, it says doggy durable, buoyant, minty, and bouncy. So apparently it should float too if you want to take it out to like the lake or something. That'd be fun. So we're going to try. I'm good putting something in this. You want to grab a couple of those shrimp and grits and see if she'll go for it. I'm gonna grab. Let's let's do a little taste test. All right. With one of the, the shrimp and grits. We're just going to take a little tiny piece of it since they are big and she is very small. Looks like she is interested. Mildly. A little chicken feet in the back. Chicken feet! Oh. Alright, so this is the shrimp and grits. Yeah. Sit. Yes. What do you think? She always spits out stuff that she hasn't tried before. <laughs> sort of like as a test. Well, she ate them. Well, she's no, she's licking it. No, she's eating it. Yum, yum. What do you think, Miss Anyone? Is that good? Yum, yum. No. Hi, honey. Oh, and I, I see why this is two toned. It's because it's like the blue water on the bottom. Oh, uh, that makes sense. That might be, well, yeah, you can nose it around. She's not real big on balls right now, she has not hit her ball phase. Oh, she's moving. And she left it. 
There it is, lonely and sad. You want to see this? What do you think of the mint? There's nothing in it right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love you too, honey. We're going to put a couple of her little baby training treats in here, I think. Yeah. Do we got the, the bacon ones, or what are you using on this one? I'm just using stuff from our mix. Ah, okay. Just a couple there. Because we do need to use those treats to train you. Yeah. So there's that in there. Yeah. And then if you go like, boop, you can get them out. Oh, oops. Or mommy can just let them all fall out. Hold on. Apparently it's, uh, it's very easy to uh, get them out when they're that small. But she, all she really knows how to do with um, that kind of toy is nose it. She doesn't really understand to like bite it and stuff yet and toss it, so. Yeah, I'm gonna get the rest out. She is very tired. <laughs> ah, she'll figure it out. Oh, she's got Yay. it. Good shot. She really doesn't like those stars anymore. No? Well, well they kind of dry out really quick. Oh, you ate it though. Yay! Good girl. Well, let's see. This is uh, a reasonably successful. A little underwhelming, but she's also pretty tired right now. Yeah, she's very tired. This strawberry will, um, it'll be great later on when we want to put her food in it or something like mm. that. That'll be fun for her. She's just tired. Yeah, and the ball, she doesn't play with a whole lot of balls. There's one felt one that she, yeah. we have that she kind of likes. I think the treats are going to be good. Having something really gross like shrimp, no, shrimp aren't gross, but smelly, smelly like shrimp uh, will be very helpful in training. So you should get the rest out. No, you just want to come to Daddy? Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's more in there. There's more in there. Oh, there we go. That's one. It's kind of cool because it, it kind of keeps moving more than some of our other... Right, because it's kind of a weird shape, so... Yeah. Yes, honey. Can she pick it up? Eh, she can always get her mouth around it. I just have to say the medium box is technically for dogs a little bit bigger than her, but where she is a corgi, she's going to get bigger and her mouth is pretty big for a smaller dog. So I went ahead and got the medium sized box. I was afraid the small box would have toys that were just too small for her big old mouth. Huge. Girl. Girl. Well, all right. Well, I think we're going to have to sign off. What do you think? Yeah. All righty. Well, anyone say bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that, I'll do too. <laughs> all right, everyone. Till next time. Okay, so we did want to show you what she thinks of the berry and bacon biscuits. These are, they look like little rings, which is funny because I have rabbit treats that look exactly like this that are just apple. These have all, like, human food ingredients in them. It's pretty cool. Barley, bacon, oat, peas, tomato, pumice. There's nothing in there that you wouldn't see in human food. And it doesn't look like there's any preservatives, so we will probably have to eat these pretty fast unless... One of those ingredients is a natural preservative. I'm not really sure. Anyway. Normally it says on there like best buy date. So. That's true. All right. So I'm just giving her a tiny little piece. I just broke it up. They're very hard, so it's kind of hard to do. But where she's pretty small right now, I didn't want to give her a whole one since we are using a lot of training treats. I guess I should have had you do a trick, huh? That's okay. I don't know if sitting counts as a trick. For her, it is. Oh, yes. Yeah, to to do down, maybe we'll show you how we work on down now. We have to, like, have her go under our legs. Because she's so low to the ground that uh, she doesn't really get into that position easily. Well, she does, but the way that you normally train a dog to yeah, do so, it's, hard it's to a get little hard down. when you have, like, you know, less than three inches of clearance. Yes. <laughs> that was good, huh? Oh, you that like that one? Yum, yum. 
Oh, she doesn't get a lot of fruit in her, in her stuff, so this is a nice different one. Yum! Oh, I love you. Oh, your mommy's little cutie pie.